Hi folks, back again with another video. Uh, this time we're going to be benchmarking the uh, CPU and GPU uh, thermals uh, and show you a uh, live interaction uh, demo um, through Cinebench and uh, the live monitoring tools. Um, uh, you can uh, see for yourself how it performs. Um, so in Dell Power Manager, I've got it set to ultra performance mode, so the best. Got the battery on power mode, or the, on, it's connected to AC and now it's set to best performance mode. Um, also got GPU Z to monitor the NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card. Um, we have a Intel Core i7 10875H, uh, 8 core to at 2.31 gig gigahertz on this machine. It's a bit strange why we get 2.1341 gigahertz on 8 core um, 10875H 10, 10 generation CPU because on the website when it's you get 5.1 here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you can tell me if you get the same or is 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 that right? Yeah, in Cinebench or or wrong. Um, so the yeah the, the RTS 2060 is a six gigabyte uh, GPU card, really powerful. I list out the specs on the screen for you. Go through through it. Um, so this machine's got 16 gigs of RAM on it as the main three components and one terabyte of disk. Um, okay, so what we're going to do in Cinebench is uh, go to advanced settings. Yeah. Uh, run the LPGL CPU, mo the multi core CPU, um, and the single s core CPU. And let's see how that performs. And uh, I have HW info, uh, let's see in task manager, performances, um, recording. So it might take a bit of C CPU, or something has taken up some CPU here. Uh, yes, probably the, the re recording is um, on the machine. Um, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, it might be doing, a, yeah, you can see it's doing a little bit of throttling on one or two CPUs and the CPU temp is high. Um, so I'm gonna, gonna, gonna run this test now. Uh, three, two, one, run all tasks. Okay, let's give, it a, give this piece a run for its money. Oh, so Matt's CPU is 4.8 thousand megahertz. Average is 4.1 megahertz on each of the calls uh, from 0 to 8. Uh, it's running at, it's going to 4100. So it's doing the LPGL test at the moment. So this should hit the, the graphics card. Graphics card is 61%, it's holding up really well. Uh, CPU temperature is 93. Uh, in the background, yes. Go back to this, see if it's what's happening, if there's any. So the temperatures of the CPU is hitting a high rate at the moment. This is testing the OpenGL in the background. Now it's going to do uh, run the rendering on the multi-core, I think. Oh, it's just running in the background. We can see these these cores, what they're doing. It's 3,500. Temperatures about hitting 90, 19, 19, 99, they go out to 100% around here. This recording is 100% here. But the GPU temperature is holding around 61. Uh, okay, it's a beast. This machine is going to single core already. It's done multi core just like that. Uh, so on the single core, is, is, is it? Throttling a bit, yeah, it's throttling. 
by Stone Air Fast. I, I compare this to the XPS 15, and this this is leaps and bounds faster. Um, See, we can go GPU up, GPU power is nine watts, around 8.5 watts. Temperature is 57. Power system 81 watts, system power, total system power. This is the short term system power limit, I think, 75 watts. And you got the long, long term, I think. 135 watts, or well, have I got it missed it the other way around? Um, just reading about, about that. Um, wow, it's, it's, it's amazing. Huh? Let's go back to HW info. Have I closed it down? Okay, why is this running? Still performing the single quarters. It's going back, going low, 56 GPU. Uh, yes, you're getting throttling on this one. Oh, of course, you're, I think you're getting throttling because we set it on the best performance mode. But the uh, fans are this temperatures for the single core is slower than the multi core when you're uh, shooting it on best performance mode. I guess when you, you, you use the best performance mode, possibly when running high performance tasks like video editing, rendering. You're not gonna run it all the time. But um, the clock speeds, oh, I got 4,600, oh, 4,800 now. But not getting that 5.1 gigahertz uh, as it's advertised on the CPU. Um, so you tell me if this is right at 2.31 gigahertz. Just, is something wrong there? as advertised. Um, oh, it's on the single code, it's a bit slower to render. Yeah. And the LPGL test is, you got 77 frames per second. Reference match 99.6. Where we are, GPU temperatures dropped fifty six. Fifty six. CPU temperatures too high. Us is that uh, the CPU on the graphics card or or the CPU on the on the Intel. This looks like this seems like the CPU on the graphics card is a hundred percent. Okay. Let's see if it's done. Yes, it looks like it's done. So well we we got a hundred fifty Rendering, rendering for sing, single core, 152 points. Um, okay. Second place behind uh, this Intel 470K, which is at 4.4. That's, that's really fast. Oh. Let's go for the multi-core CPU score, which is 11,142 uh, points. Second place behind 
this other processor, the Xeon processor, which are, are fast machines. Oh, it's, uh, it's a fast processor here. Well, that's pretty good if it's behind the Xeon. Uh, OpenGL has more to do with graphics. Oh, it's above a Quadro K4000 M card. Oh, uh, that's impressive. Uh, I think this, I don't know if this is a workstation card, but this uh, RTS 2060 card is it's impressive. Well, I see six gigabytes of GPU. Uh, yeah, it's in very impressive. I'm impressive with that score. Um, MP uh, multiprocessor ratio. Second, 7.5. Zero times multiprocessor ratio. Ratio, uh, but again, it's behind the Xeon, which is not bad. It's 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 very good. The CPU. Uh, I'm not sure about this 2.3. So yeah, uh, I hope you like this video and uh, giving you as much information as I could. Um, if you have any comments, please leave me a, leave them. If you want me to run any um, nice tests for you, just let me know. Um, Cool. I'll be back soon. Thanks a lot.